point I want to get at here is that science too is based on, you may say, faith-based propositions. If you're a Christian, by the way, all of this makes a lot of sense to you. The Christian says God is omniscient or super rational. Hey, he made a rational universe. God is a lawgiver. He gave us the moral law, the Ten Commandments. Uh, so it's not surprising he gave us the laws of nature, the physical laws also. And we are created, we believe in the image of God, we have in us a spark of that divine rationality, so it's not entirely befuddling that we have the ability to sort of apprehend or comprehend the rationality of the world out there. But my point is, if you are an atheist, you've got to take all this 100% on faith. My time is running fast, and so I need to adopt, if I may, I need to fast forward and adopt, if I may, the principle that uh, King Henry VIII adopted with one of his wives. He said, I can't keep you too long. Um, and so, so I want to I wanna zoom in, if I may, uh, and, and, and talk about secular morality. Because I think the great error at the root of all this is to look at the way that secular people behave. Uh, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Condorcet, Voltaire, and say, oh gee, these were not very devout Christians. Uh, Jefferson, after all, was a very irregular churchgoer, and yet these were deeply moral people. The fallacy here, if, you, if I may, is this. We are the product, if you will, of Christian education, Christian culture, a civilization saturated, if you will, with 2,000 years of Christian morality. Even the atheist is to some degree a product of that. That's why Richard Dawkins in a recent interview said, I'm a cultural Christian. I reject the Christian God, but I'm trying to hold on to the ideals that Christianity brought into the world. If you want to see a truly secular society, don't go to Rome, uh, don't go to France, you have to look at those 20th century experiments which attempted to get rid of God and establish a, a, a totally God-free utopia, a new man and a new society ultimately rid of Christian morality and the Christian God. And those would be the great experiments in, in Marxism and communism in the 20th century. Think of Mao in China, or Stalin in Russia, or if you don't want to look at the, the sort of the horror stories, that's fine. Look at uh, Ceausescu, look at Kim Jong-il, look at Fidel Castro, look at Pol Pot. I mean, Pol Pot was a junior league atheist. He doesn't normally even make the list. And yet in Indochina, after the Vietnam War, his Khmer Rouge regime, in the space of about three years, wiped out about two million people. Two million! Even Bin Laden, in his wildest dreams, doesn't even come close. In a strange way, we keep hearing about the horrors of religion, the 2,000 people killed in the Inquisition, the 19 people killed at the Salem witch trials. The three atheist regimes of the 20th century alone, in the space of five decades, have managed to kill 100 million people. 